And that's kind of um, an important next step because what let's say that you actually have your data instead of separated into individual rows you have it in columns because that's generally how um, how we set up our Excel workbooks we have different dimensions or or different um, categories in each column and the data for each category is going down each row so the data is vertical now that can be really really important because what we want to do here is let's say we actually want to keep each of those columns separate and we want to calculate like an average for each column what we're going to want to do is change the way that we are looping through our cells so we know that loop through each cell each row individually right so each row individually um, we want to loop through loop through each column individually so what we're gonna want to do here is we're gonna want to do another for each and in this time we're gonna say for each column in range dot columns and then next so let's see what we're actually doing when we're looping through what are these columns so I'm gonna message box call dot and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do address because what it's really doing is each of these columns, this in this range dot columns, each call is another range that represents that column. Let's take a look at what I mean here. So we have A1 through A5, that's that column. Then we have B1 through B5, C1 through C5, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, so now we know that each of these calls, so here I'll do this, each call is its own range object. So we can modify that, we can use that call as a range object. So one thing we can do is we could definitely do a for each, you know, cell in call.cells, but let's try something else. Let's do it by, by row, because we've already done it by column, let's stay consistent, it's better practice to do this. Um, our code is a little bit more, um, more readable here we're going to say for each cell in range dot in whoops call dot rows then we're going to do next to end it and in here we're going to message box cell dot value again okay so now let's see what happens as we are cycling through so you notice row 1 c1 row 2 c1 we're still in column 1 now we're going to jump to column 2 we're going to hit every row in column 2 then to three and as you can see we have now successfully been able to loop through each column individually and then we could handle the data however we wanted um, likely by taking an average or calculating some sort of um, statistic or just modifying that column individually so that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover in our basic introduction everything you need to know about range to get started using it Next time, we're going to start modifying. So this was all about range information. Next time, we're going to modify. And then after that, we are going to take a look at actually changing the formats, changing your data formats, changing your styling. That will be an incredibly ten intense one. Um, but now you know how to get all the information you need from your ranges. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And please do something awesome.